This week, the Beaver Area School District changed its back to school plans again. Now only part of the district will be heading back to class in person to start the school year. Starting Monday, only kindergarten through eighth grade will return to in person classes while high school students will be fully remote. Nicole Ford explains what led to the last minute change. Beaver Area Superintendent Carrie Rowe tells me there's no playbook to help navigate the changing guidelines and return to school. She says when over a dozen high school teachers weren't planning to return immediately, there was no option but to go full remote. It's a busy week for Beaver Area School District as classes resume Monday. Recently, we've had some operational issues at our high school, um, specifically related to um, leaves of ab absences that teachers are uh, taking for very legitimate reasons. In fact, Superintendent Carrie Rose says 14 high school teachers are out on family and medical leave, plus a number of others have taken sabbatical. This is, again, that perfect storm of individuals who had surgeries or procedures planned for this summer, but those surgeries or procedures were put off. Um, un until they could be done, which is around this time. The lack of staff has caused the district to move the high school from a hybrid model to fully remote learning for the foreseeable future. So it is not as simple as saying just go out and get anybody to be in the classroom. Finding a substitute teacher across the state is never easy. Is that worth $85 a day? Is that worth $100 a day? Adding COVID-19 and Rose says the district quickly discovered substitute teachers are answering no. I don't know if they would be able to trace back to where the teacher had it, where they, you know, where the kids exposed, where other adults in the school exposed, would then I be exposed if I came into sub? In the short term, Beaver Valley Intermediate Unit is hoping to fill those gaps with emergency substitute teachers. We can take folks who have a bachelor's degree and we can uh, emergency certify them to so that they could work in a single assignment up to 20 days. Rosendale says he's hopeful community members step up for the mid-September training to help staff the schools. Superintendent Rowe says the school board will reevaluate these staffing issues at its next school board meeting in September. At that point, the high school could return back to hybrid learning. In Beaver, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.